Hi everyone, today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a fishtail on the hook, which is like this, but I used um, a different type of bands, which is that. And all you need is a hook, and I'm using a rainbow metal tip hook. I'm using an S clip, but you can use an S clip or C clip. And I'm using the colors blue and purple. Let's begin. You're gonna take your first color, and I'm gonna take um, my. I'm gonna use blue, which is also wearing balloon bands. Twist it into a cap band. I'm gonna take your next band, slide it in like this, so like a single bracelet. But you're gonna open the end up and slide your hook through it, the cap band, and keep it up so that the purple band could slip out. But you're now gonna grab your next band, which is blue, and I'm gonna take the purple band through like that, and I'm gonna put the purple bands on my hook as well. And you can just stretch it. And if it looks like that, you might need to put the blue inside it. Like, you gotta fix it around. So, not like that. And probably just need to flex it in front. It still looks good like that, though. Um, well, I think this was the right way. So, you're just gonna have to fix up the right way whatever's wrong or whatever right. You'll figure it out soon. But I'm gonna take my next band, which is purple. You're gonna slide the whole, the whole thing through. And now you're gonna just take the outside bands, which is the blue ones. And make sure you're gonna grab it the correct way. Like that. And now the purple bands are the outside. Like so. Now you're going to take um, your next color, which is always going to be the inside color, but now mine is blue. I'm going to take that out, and it's going to just pull all the way through, and grab the outside bands, which is my purple. So now you can tell it's creating a fishtail. And usually when I create fishtails on a Y loom or something else in a hook, the first band always gets like twisted or like messed up with the sec the third one. So now it should look like this. You're gonna keep doing that step until you find your wrist length like this. I added a cute little charm. Or like a necklace or something you wanna make. And the next color is purple. I'm gonna go through. Hold that band with your finger and grab the two outside, which is always like sticking up. But you're gonna just grab the outside bands and slip it through. Next is my blue, cause it's the end one. If you're using more colors than two, it might be a little more difficult, but you're just gonna have to remember the pattern. I'm also like holding the two bands together, if that helps stretch and just bring up. If that ever happens, just slip off the band that you don't need. So we're gonna just grab the two outside bands, like that. Next is my blue band, like so. And next is my purple one. And just move it through. Gonna slide that through again. You kind of just have to like swiggle it through the bands. Oops. Just go through it. Up. Hold the band here so it won't fall. And just go through the first band and the fourth band, which is the last of so the first and last band. 
So it should be your two um, side bands. Let's show you again. Through. And the top two. And I'm gonna show you again. Like so. And now if you want, oops. I just take that off. Now if you want to end your bracelet, you're gonna take one more band, or yeah, you're gonna take one more band, slide it all through, and you don't bring up any more bands. And you're just gonna close it like that. And take your S clip or C clip. That. And now you made a little cute fishtail bracelet, which is adorable because you can make it to any one you want. So you can make it into a ring, an, a bigger bracelet. You could also slip knot the end if you like you don't feel like to make another one or it's just still too small. Just bring out this band. This is the first or second one, depends on how you're looking at it. This one right here, you're gonna take it and bring it over if you can to make a slip knot. So I hope you learned something and enjoyed some um, enjoy this video. And be make sure to subscribe and like to this channel and this video. And um, just write in the comments down below what more tutorials you want me to make. So, bye!